Hey, what's up? This is Brian Pfeiffer with ExploringLasVegas.com. I'm standing here today, guys, in front of the garden. Okay, you can see it in my background. Over here is another place called 18 Bindi. You might be able to hear a little boom, boom, boom. They have like a, a uh, some kind of a tech house uh, brunch over there. The one I went to today, though, was the garden, which is a drag brunch, okay? And this is a popular uh, place over here in the Arts District of Fremont Street. Uh, if you guys look behind me over here, you can see the Circa. Okay, that's Fremont Street. And then obviously the Strip is the other way south. We're kind of in between, like, you know, where the stratosphere is, basically, and Circa. Uh, so it's over here in the Arts District, not far from the actual Las Vegas Strip. And, um, you know, this is one of the newer places that we're going to be working with. And I was here on a Sunday in December. It's actually pretty nice weather today for Vegas in December. And the place was slammed, okay? There's only a couple seats left. Uh, my buddy over here, uh, Diego, was telling me uh, he could get me a spot for me and my girlfriend. And there was basically just about enough spots for me and her and maybe a couple other people. But other than that, every single table was uh, taken and chair at the bar. And uh, it's a very well-done performance, okay? It's a, it's a well-done operation. And I know they're doing well with a, uh, I think they do like a Thursday thing here at night, a Friday thing at night, and then they do a Saturday day and a Sunday brunch. Um, obviously the times are usually around noon. Uh, they may do sec second shows and whatnot in the busy season, so just check the link below to see you know, the times of the show and whatnot and the different packages that we offer. We offer limo service up here, the drag brunch, we could do potentially stadium swim afterwards um, or one of the other pools in Vegas. Uh, there's a lot of options for, for you guys to do for you know bachelorette parties and whatnot. I don't see too many bachelor parties wanting to come up here and check this out, but uh, maybe. Maybe if it's a gay bachelor party or some kind of a spoof thing, it'd be kind of fun. But uh, it's a cool layout. It's a cool layout. Okay, it's a nice uh, venue. Uh, they have an inside area. It's got like a bar kind of in the middle, and then some, you know seating all around the walls. And then in the summer months, when it's nicer out, they have the patio open, and they kind of expand the amount of seats and tickets they sell. Okay, so the, the terrace, if you will, is out there right now. Uh, the, the, the the queens are out there shooting pictures with people after the show. Uh, so if you wanted to come out and you know get some pictures with the queens, you could do that in the front of the step and repeat. Um, what I liked about it uh, is you, you know, come in, you get greeted at the front, scan your tickets in, it, it, there's a little bit of a line when I got here at noon, so maybe come a little bit earlier at noon, maybe 11.45. You get to your table and you actually have like a waiter that actually takes your order. You got a menu to order from. Uh, you go down the menu and you just pick one entree, essentially they have breakfast, kind of lunch stuff, whatever you, whatever you want, and then um, and actually bring it out to you. It's a, it's a well, you know, it's a good meal. It's not like, you know, kind of like the brunch food, if you will, where it's, you know, everybody just gets the same thing. You can order what you want and you get a pretty, you know, good tasting meal. I had a burger and it was really good. And, uh, you know, they have this drink package too. I think it was like $49 on the menu. You can buy it in advance or you can buy it at the, the spot uh, based on whatever ticket you buy from the get-go. And then you get all these different specialty cocktails included. Uh, but if you don't buy that, then you just get the, uh, the the mimosas. It's probably a cheaper champagne, but it's, you know, orange juice and champagne and water. Um, that's kind of like your basic entry level. But if you want the specialty cocktails, then you can upgrade to that for like 49 bucks. And that's like pretty much all you can drink for the duration of the brunch, which ended up being about two hours. I got here at noon and it went a little bit over two o'clock. So it was probably like 2.15 when it ended. It didn't really get started though until about 12.15, 12.30. That's kind of when it kind of kicked off. And then it was about an hour and a half, two, maybe two hours total for the performance. So, um, you know, each girl, uh, each queen, if you will, I think there's maybe four, maybe five queens. I think there's five of them, you know, or whatever. And uh, they come through and they do like a set with a couple songs. You know, obviously they walk around, do tips, kind of lipstick to everything. It's just fun music. It's it's a fun time. You know, if, if you're into you know the drag thing and you just want to have a good time and something fun on a Sunday, get a decent meal. It's not too expensive. You can have some fun over here. That's kind of what this this is. And then uh, each queen does about two songs. They go and do a, a costume change. They come out again. Usually another one or two songs. And uh, you know that takes you through the whole the set. Each queen comes out has basically a two performance. And then you kind of have like a finale at the end with the uh, the server. This was a Christmas theme. Obviously, we're close to Christmas, so they did a, you know, Jingle Bells thing and All I Want for Christmas at the end. So it was nice. It was, it was fun. It's an uplifting experience. You want to come out here and have some, uh, you know, have some good food, have some drinks on a Sunday or a Saturday or even a, a Thursday or a Friday night. They have different options. It, it, it's a good time. I mean, it's going to be a similar experience at all those events. And, uh, you know, they play music that, you know, makes you feel good. And people come up here just with their friends, socialize. It's, it's a nice thing. So I would definitely recommend it. But, again, we have a bunch of packages. We're going to be adding more. Um, the next couple months here, so just keep your eye out on the links below, and uh, make sure you hit me up if you have any questions. My number is 773-459-8133, and um, make sure you like this video if you like this content. We're going to keep bringing you more stuff here in Las Vegas. Subscribe to this channel for more, and make sure you bang that notifications bell to be notified about my next video. So, uh, I'm Brian Pfeiffer, signing out here from the Garden Drag Brunch up here in uh, Fremont Street East in Las Vegas, and I'm looking forward to working with you on your Las Vegas trip. We'll talk soon. Bye.